Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Add to the Gungeon. Beat the Gungeon. You better believe I feel like I've earned a Paradox run. <laughs> it's gonna take a while before <laughs> we unlock all of our items anyways. I figured why not. I think I'm a, uh, well, you know, it's an okay start. I figured why not. I'm, I'm allowed to, to have a nice trip to what I would probably consider to be my favorite character. If you can call the Paradox in general a character, which you totally can. You know, it's a, it's a billion characters in one, you know? How many combinations of guns and passives are there? It's not a billion, but uh, especially not since it's, it's exactly two items every time and exactly one of each, but still. There's a lot of permutations. A lot of permutations. Even just having two categories. And it feels like an infinite character. That being said, you know, it doesn't have any extra unique quirks necessarily to it. But what I kind of like about the character, one, it gives me something to talk about and think about, like, literally immediately. And it lets, usually, lets you uh, have a much easier time breezing through, you know, ar arguably the least interesting part of the roguelite, which is the first floor. You know, like, it, it, in theory, it should be the least interesting. At least if you're at a point where you've played the game enough to reach the final floor, the first floor should probably be the least interesting. So, you just get to go through it quite quick. Quite quick. And sometimes you get really crazy starts and you have a lot to talk about. We can talk about the fact that I can not, not take damage falling into pits, which I, I've gotten a lot better at not doing in general, but it still happens from time to time. Okay, seeing that stuff in there makes me think, and the fact that I don't want any of it, and that I have an okay amount of keys, maybe we could actually do a little bit of a uh, resourceful lab fight, huh? I think perchance we could. Perchance we could. Alright. But, I mean, other than that, we can talk about the Mac 10. It never ends. It's actually, like, really quite solid. I don't know what tier it is off the top of my head. It might be a... I, I wouldn't be shocked. I, like, I would... If I was going to put it somewhere, I would say it's okay for it to be... Uh, we, we don't like this. Is this vampirism or friendship? Shoot. Friendship. Yeah. Don't want that. Don't want that. We'll sell it the first moment we could get. We may drop it. It actually does hinder you, I think. If you're, you've gotten comfortable with fighting mimics, you want to, you want mimics. You know, as long if you don't get fooled by the trap of them very often, and if you know how to fight them okay, like it. Also, mimic tip. Mimic tip. If you um, have a, t a, a tough time fighting them. A lot of times I'd say a big part part of it is the fact that you're fighting them in a small room. You actually can lure them into other rooms. You can lure them. I can lure them in here. I can lure them all the way over here. And, you know, then you got a much bigger room. You can just maybe lure them to a room that has a table in it or something. You can have an easier time that way. But, yeah, I mean, Mac 10 pretty good. There's uh, Unfortunately, yeah, there's not a ton to talk about with it. Gosh, I'm playing Monolith, and it's making me... Uh, making me want to do my bullet hell dodging by the way shout outs if you uh, hey if you like the game enter the gungeon i think you might like uh, a game called monolith that i'm playing on my channel and by that i mean i like i almost certainly know you'll like it if you're like man i played a lot of gungeon what do i do now uh, or like now gungeon's too easy for me like say you've transcended the beat the gungeon series uh, oh god, I hate this version of the Gatling Gall in this layout. It's so annoying. Uh, yeah, and you're like, you know what? I just, I don't know what to do in Gungeon anymore. I've got a thousand hours myself, like Rito the God, but I don't have a series. I don't feel like I'm, you know, I'm not attached to it. Let's, what, what else can I play? Go check out the Monolith series. It just started, by the time this is out, uh, there should be three episodes out for a total of probably like two hours of, of video. It's worth a look. Let me tell you, it is so good. It's been out for a long time, but they just released a huge, huge DLC drop that is insane. And the game, like, it's it's big, it's chunky. It, there's a lot to it now, and it's 
basically like, I mean, as you can tell by uh, the title of it, if you can just go look, it's like 8-bit Enter the Gungeon in Space, and it's really just like, God, it's good, it's good. I would go as far as to say it's probably one of the most underrated roguelites on the market. I would say that for sure. Like, the fact that uh, it's not been talked about a lot is criminal. It's hyper-polished, so fun. God, it's it's just... It's going to sound like I'm sponsored out here. Sorry, my I'm getting hit all over the place because my brain is elsewhere. I'm thinking about Monolith, huh? It's good. I don't know how long we'll play it. I mean, if you guys uh, check it out and are into it, we'll play it for a long time. Like, I would happily... Um, it's definitely... it's. I, it's tougher, tougher than Gungeon, probably. Yeah, it's tough. It's tougher than Gungeon, to, but Gungeon skills transfer. So if you're, you know, you played a lot of Gungeon, you'll not the tra the skills don't transfer directly, but a lot of your reflexes and things that you've been practicing from this game would transfer over to a game like that. It is a. It's m way more in line with the bullet hell aspects. Whoop. Uh, but but but. It, like, some people kind of put it into words as Enter the Gungeon is a roguelite with bullet hell mechanics and Monolith is a bullet hell with roguelite mechanics. And I think that's roughly, roughly uh, accurate. Ooh, yeah. Alpha bullets. Okay, that actually should buff the hell out of the glaive here. Should do an extra 80%? 100%? It should be a pretty big boost. I, don't, I never remember. I believe Omega does 100% and Alpha does 80. Alpha does uh, Alpha buffs the uh, the damage of the first shot in your clip by like a, a booty load. We can effectively do that with um, Flame Hand as well because it has an immediate reload. However, a lot of the damage from Flame Hand does not actually come from the bullet itself. It comes from the fire. So, eh, you know. A, a flat damage boost to Flame Hand is lost on it a bit. Like, I think it would be worth it for me to mash the reload button while we have it, but... Eh, I don't know. It's, it's worth it for the damage, but is it worth it for my time? I don't know. Man, I wish we needed these and not... Um, what do we need? Wait a minute. Do we need we do need lead maiden? We do need lead maiden. For some reason I thought we were on shambling rounds. Cause that's that's the one that everybody keeps telling me, like they keep telling me, oh you're you're in for it now. You think that it's gonna take this many episodes, but the shambling rounds one. Which is the uh, the totem pole boyos. And I can totally understand that. It, it's an enemy that you I don't know. I feel like I see decently often, but if I need to kill like 20 or 25 of them, it's it's going to it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a lot to get the frightful challenge. Do we already do this? Shot grub boot. Easy sell. Cooler glaive should be pretty darn good for this. Who did we fight on the first one? We fought the Galingo. We actually, we need the Bullet King now more than, more than that, but that's okay. Whoop. It auto-homes in from, from here, right? So we could just make sure we definitely hit the, whoop, definitely hit the rockets. Bloop. Good deal. Get the ads. It turns around as soon as it hits the first enemy. So you want to make sure that it, the uh, first enemy in your line of sight, I guess, is the uh, is the boss in that situation. All right. It's been a hot moment, Monsieur Rat. Monsieur Dirty Rat. So what are we looking for, 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 let me, for our items. We need platinum bullets, hegemony credits, cat bullet king throne, beat the bullet king 10 times, which we weirdly haven't done, and gun slinking, that's one. I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like I basically don't even really need the list stuff. I just, gun slinking, 
This, it's all just going to happen except for the one thing, and that is, uh, oh, that is, uh, unlocking the cultist item, the number two, but that's not even, that's not even required to beat the game to uh, unlock the finish gun, but the goal isn't to unlock the finish gun. The goal is to 100% the game, which in my opinion, yes, uh, you could consider, uh, unlocking all the text and everything to be 100%ing. But that's not really what I'm going for. Because that requires, um, I guess that requires getting Rubenstein, technically. That that would. Which I don't really, I don't care to just uh, sit and wait for it to magically happen. Because the longer we play the game, the actually, the, the less likely the item is to show up. Funny enough. Because you need two guns, and they're both unlocked pretty darn quickly. I think that... Uh, the Rubidine prototype is unlocked from the start, and I think the Rubidine Mark II is unlocked pretty early. Okay. Uh oh. This is Shamblin' Round Room. If only we needed it. I wish we could, like, I wish they were, uh, like in Stardew Valley, how they, they're uh, retroactively unlocked and stuff. Like, if you have. I guess we, don't, we know that it can't be a mimic. Retroactively unlocked, where I believe if you you killed a decent chunk of them before you get that quest, I'm not talking about the daily quests and started. I'm talking about like the uh, the the post board. In fact, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if it does work. <laughs> Wait, maybe I'm crazy. Guys, ignore me. I wish it was retroactive. I wish it was all just. I wish there was a bounty board that was unlocked at the very start. Is that is that crazy of me? I feel like I understand that it's just to it's to add add game length, and it normally it oops it's not that annoying. Like I think that I don't know was it was it the last thing we had to do for unlocks in our main profile? I don't remember. It probably was, but there there might have been some weird stuff that we we didn't quite know about. We need another blank. I did a goof. It's been so long. All right. We need another blank or a shield. Statistically, we'll probably get one of the two in the shop. Hopefully we, I mean, it'd be great if we could just get it before then. But, oh well. Blanks. Do it right now before we goof it. Do it before you goof it. It's the opposite of uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Do it before you goof it. Doof it before you goof it. <laughs> There's no real rhyme there. So you gotta force one. It's okay. Oh, the best things are forced, right? The best, uh, the best puns and jokes. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> inspirational messages uh, they're, they're forced forced rhymes all right trip across bow flame hand we got like some decent bangers here uh, I'm just trying to think what works the best with Omega Bo or alpha bullets and I'd say it's this I would love to get Omega bullets alpha Omega the fact that that's not a one-shot bop is frankly disturbing that was close call I really do just love the paradox. I know you're, you're, we're sacrificing their like each character's unique quirks and everything like that. How much? Thirty-five. Don't mind if I do, but at the same time, I kind of like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh man, maybe I should save my money. What if we run into the Gunsling King and we can't do his thing? The thing is, nothing matters in in life in general. No, uh, but uh, nothing matters because the last thing we're gonna do. It'll all unlock in due time. The last thing we're going to have to do is obviously a frightful challenge. It's so clearly the final thing we're going to have to do. Like, I I wouldn't be shocked if we had every other passive unlock before we got all the lead maidens we need. And that is a little wild. To-do list. I mean, as far as failures go, it's a it's fine failure. It's an okay failure. It's just like me. As far as failures go, 
it's fine. Bip, 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 bip. Let's get our boosted bonus shots. Table tech side, we're supposed to be getting multiple shots, are we? Yeah, we are. It's just kind of hard to see. There we go. Thank you. Boost that, or we could boost. Let's just get the cooler. 35. We're not going to be able to get both the key and the guns, uh, the Winchester. I think we want maybe, like, do a little bit of both. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a problem. There we go. hoo -ah! Yikes. Okay. It's actually a good boss weapon. We can't really cruel her while these guys are out. Good deal. Oh my goodness, I'm goofball. Good deal. That was a, it was a little bit better than I expected. I felt felt sloppy. I don't know. Transferring just directly over from um, ooh, it's Zorgon. We have not had this Zorgon. Zorgon's not bad. I always think of the bullet bore when I pick it up, and I'm like, ah. But it's not the bullet bore. Not the bullet bore, but better. But it's better. Ah. Okay, I mean, let's go down and take a look at the pattern here. Because certain ones are way easier than other ones. I think this one's okay. Oh, maybe not. It's so far. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake. We're in, like, I don't even know if we're going to get a green chest at this point. I want to cry. I want to cry. Well, okay. I, yeah, yeah, that, there's something to heavy bullets. There's something to heavy bullets. That, I want to cry about that. That was so bad, though. Uh, heavy bullets. Nope, 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 nope. Heavy bullets gets you a uh, pretty decent... A decent damage up. However, it also makes the shot slower and have heavy knockback. So there's some situations where that doesn't matter. I think I think Cruel Glaive is going to be one where it's not going to matter. Homing shot things like the Zorgon, it's not going to matter. So there's a handful of things. Where it'll be a-okay. I'm up down, right down, up. We'll see, though. We'll see. In practice, we'll find out. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. And then it does the drill at the end. Uh-oh. It also doesn't seem to be doing it like that amazingly. At the same time. Up, up. Oh! Down. Next is right. Next is right. Run! Next is down. Okay. There's some to this. There's definitely some to it. Down, up. Next is up, and we're done. shot, Bob. Okay. Okay. There's something here. We kind of got a run built around it. Kind of. I don't know what the freaking build. I guess the Zorgon, I suppose, but... Yeah, I mean, the Zorgon might be okay against the boss, but Cruller Glaive, I just... The alpha Bullet... Alpha bullet, heavy bullet situation. 
This is good. Yep, yep, yep. I just don't want to. Oh, I thought it was the uh, mouse traps for some reason. I think this is doing better. If we had Omega Bullets instead, instead, this would be our weapon of choice. All right. We're fine. We can take a booty load of damage. It won't matter too much. As long as we don't die, we are golden fine. Okay. Doesn't matter that these shots are slow as long as they eventually hit the target. Don't really care. Oh, they're not eventually hitting the target for shooting them all the way over there. I thought they were I thought this was supposed to be homing. Is there something weird with the rat? Oh god. Pick the bad place to stand, man. Drop the cooler on the ground. Alright. There we go. I don't know. I thought it was homing. Maybe it's maybe it's light homing. That is pretty realistic. Well, we got him. That's all that matters, right? Cruel up! Slowly hit him in return! Alright, I was told to give a little bit of a tutorial on the rat punch out. And I will do my best. Here's a couple things. Obviously, dodge with left, right, down, and you can block. I find the only two you need to do back dodge and block um basically everything at all everything except for the tail lash where he backs up all the way over here and then goes whoosh. everything can be blocked so it's all about timing when he flashes you punch him and you get a super charge up here up to three one two three at three your punch will do half like basically half his health bar you get bonus rewards for finishing him off with the super punch, so you kind of want to do that. Also, it's just, it makes it easier anyways. For punching, I alternate left and right, because in punch out, it was beneficial to do that. I don't actually know if it is beneficial in this or not. It seems like it is, I don't know. So I do that, basically, for this phase. Yeah, you just wait for the flash right there. That's a, that's a flash attack, this is a block. It's a block. You can block pretty early. It's actually, believe it or not, it's really forgiving. That's a good one to counter as well. So, you basically just wake. I mean, you, but the thing is, watch. You can also just, uh, you can just punch him uh, as soon as he's leaning back. You don't have to get the perfect. It's just, uh, I'm here, I'm trying to delay so I can show it off. Lean back, mister. Lean back, mister. See, you can also just start punching there. You don't have to get the super punch on that attack. This, honestly, I find phase two and three to be easier because with that attack, you can just block the first one and it really opens him up. I find that you should just wait. So this is the dodge backwards. You can parry it, but I just say don't do it. So that's where I do it. I, I find that to be the easiest. It's easier for me than the first phase. Because he does three in a row is very predictable. You can block the first one instead of trying to dodge. And you can get yourself ready for that timing. You can actually punch him after his attacks as well here. Uh, for that one, you have to punch with the correct hand. Punch with the alternate hand. At least that's what I do. Maybe you don't have to. 
Yeah, I've tried to go for the perfect. Yeah, I tried to see. There we go. With the the correct hand, punch with the right hand there. Blocking literally everything. Everything can be blocked except I don't know if this can be blocked. It can't. I always I've always countered that. I find it not to be too hard to counter. So it literally block all of those. And we should finish it up because we actually are on a timer here. There you go. Alright. But that, I don't know, hopefully that helps. If you really can't handle it, I got a lot better at, at um, the rat by legitimately <laughs> playing Punch-Out. I'm going to pick this up and then drop it. Actually, we don't have Curse yet. We don't have any ranks of Curse, I'll take it. Oh, wait. There we go. We don't need it. We don't need it. The only reason I would have it... Well, we're going to the fourth floor where we can sell it for free for sure. But yeah, hopefully that helped. I mean, I can try to give more hints and tips later, but... Basically, just literally watch that rat fight I just did over and over. See which attacks landed and which attacks didn't. Uh, because, you know, it's just, it's just a practice thing. It's legitimately a practice thing. You can get it down... Uh, Arguably, once you've, once you've practiced it, it's, even though it's a completely different game, it's way, way easier than even, um, I would say, like, most of the actual bosses in the game. It's just, it's harder because it's different. It's harder because it's different. That's all. But once you get used to it, it's... Just, it is literally entirely a pattern with a set of correct maneuvers. Whereas, bullet hell bosses, sometimes there's a handful of correct maneuvers. So, there's some attacks where there's only one one correct one, where it's like, uh, you know, shooting a, shooting a wave, you have to dodge over it. You've got to dodge over this wave. Here it comes. Dodge. But most of the time, it's like, yeah, you could dodge, you could do this, you could do that. You could, uh, you know, you could go run in the corner. You could dodge over this in a moment-to-moment, -moment, uh, moment-to-moment basis. So, it's it's more susceptible to uh, to being remembered. You just have to do it a lot. But the bummer situation is um, you can't get to the rat quickly. There's no uh, one thing that hey, I hate to bring it up again, but you know. I, I, Another great thing about Monolith <laughs> is it has a, you can unlock a mirror, re like really, really quickly. You unlock a mirror that you can get, that would effectively go in the breach, and it lets you start any boss fight that you've ever fought, ever. Just immediately. Just like that. Like, you press the button, there's no downtime, there's no fluff, no pomp and circumstance, you just get to fight it. Like, you, there's so many bosses you, and even the mini bosses that you can't fight in Gungeon unless you just happen to find them or you're using Mod the Gungeon. And even with Mod the Gungeon, you can't just, you, as far as I know, you can't just normally spawn in the rat fight. I believe there is a, uh, a, a whole mod specifically made to be able to fight the rat and punch out. So that's another thing you could try to do. You could look into downloading that so you could practice the rat wherever you want, whenever you want. That's another one. That's pretty involved, though. I don't know. If you have if you have Punch-Out, you know, you can check that out. I played it on... Uh, I played it in a, in a video, if you are curious. I I played it... Uh, Rito, Rito plays Super Punch-Out. It, it was a whole video. It was, I actually, it was one of the few, few edited videos on my channel. It was fun. It was a good time. It was a good time. Yep, 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 yep. But, uh, yep, 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 yep. Crack that whip. I don't know. I'm so, like, hit or miss on heavy bullets. We have two items right now that I consider to be sometimes, like, pretty detrimental. Heavy bullets is less detrimental than something like, uh, Ring of Mimic Friendship. But, because Ring of Mimic Friendship, like, like I always say, you, you, if we, I don't know. The thing is, if we found a bunch of mimics at this point, we wouldn't be as rough on keys. And also, it eliminates your chance to, um... Okay. You literally cannot... What is the synergy? What is the synergy? Alpha bullet stuff? 
Oh, oh, it's such a kind of boring one. Um, what was I saying? I don't freaking know. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, uh, you cannot get mimic pedestals, which you want. Believe it or not, you want you want your pedestals to be mimics. It means you get more items. Ain't it crazy? Oh. So you know what? I think uh, ring of or gun potion of gun friendship will be really helpful with it. Yeah, it is. It really is. Yes, obviously it's harmful to ammo. Of course it is. Ooh. We love him. I actually kind of want the membrane. The membrane's really good. Like I always say, it's one of the ones where it seems like they spilled coffee on the stat sheet. And then just said, just leave it in the game. We don't want to, we don't want to make it look like we made a mistake. Say it was on purpose. Yes, just say it, just say it was on purpose. But Brent, it's twice as good as other guns of the same ver same tier. No, leave it in. <laughs> I love it though. I would never want to change. Never change it. Never, please. All right, here we go. Oh, I love it. That was the dumbest, boldest, stupid dodge on earth. All right. I love it. I like the rapid fire cooler. It's kind of cute. Big iron, my boy. My favorite gun that is only pretty good. Nickname in high school, big iron. I don't need this and I don't need the synergy. I don't care about that. Even if we got the synergy, sound that. Oh my God. God, we've just gotten so much patootie this run. I don't need... Oh, I do want this because of the synergy. Watch us start to fall into a bunch of pits. We should be rich. Just, you come to me with all this trash. I don't know that I need it. I don't want to... I don't really want to buy another spice because we're just... The thing with spice is it's just, it doesn't feel worth 135 shells. I feel like it should get a discount. Personally. I think it should be discounted. Alright. Because you just, you get so many. I don't know. Am I crazy? I feel like it, it I feel like it should be like 60. I don't know. It just, it never feels worth the money. But everybody will want wants me to pick it up, I'm sure, because they're like, "Oh, but it's funny to have all the maximum spice." And I agree, like it's fun and it's funny to have it. But like, I don't want to waste all my money on it because it's just if they're a dime a dozen, like they literally give them to you in brown chests. They replace end of room rewards. It just doesn't feel like it's worth 135 just to have one more. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Like, the thing is, there's probably, <laughs> let's be honest, there's probably one in there. It starts replacing more and more items. And we have Ring of, uh, Ring of Chest Friendship. Now that we don't have the Ring of Mimic Friendship, we could hopefully get a decent chunk of Mimics to go with all of our chests and all of our curse we're going to get. Oops. That was exactly how you don't want to dodge. Thank you for tuning in to my Beat the Gungeon tips. Don't do that. Don't dodge with the bullets. Dodge against the grain. Genie Blast! For no good reason. Shadow Bullets. I mean, see, okay, now that I see all this stuff here, and I know that there's nothing else of value that's a different story that's a different story now i can spend my money but we didn't know what was going to be here is the thing we didn't know you never know if you don't go you never shine if you don't glow hey now you're a spice star you look at that and you also just boom you just throw them on the freaking floor 
like yesterday's bread. You have to call the day old bread. <laughs> Alright, well, we should be doing pretty darn good crueler damage. The fact that it's not one shot bopping is frankly insulting. He may have a gun. He doesn't have a gun. Yoink. It'll find you. It'll kill you. Roop. Need keys, though. That's the, See, that's the thing. Stinking ring of mimic friendship. And it doesn't even matter that this is splitting out things into three, because they're, they're one-shot bopping basically anything of note. Oh, here we go. So it doesn't matter that they're splitting into three if they're not going to hit different enemies. You know? It's that, like, everybody wants damage, and damage is fun. Like... I want to see the big number. That's like half half the time what uh, meme builds in roguelites turn into. Like, I want to see the big number. But the thing is, this room would have gone exactly the same if I had 1 million percent damage up. If I had a 1 million percent damage up, the room would have gone exactly the same. My number, my damage could have been anything. So it's like sometimes, and with the, here's the thing. If the boss damage cap wasn't, well, I guess if we did, if we actually did a million, we would break the boss damage cap. But that's one thing that I'm really, really looking forward to with our mod, the Gungeon series, is we are indeed, some of you may have guessed it, <laughs> we are definitely downloading the turn the boss damage cap off mod. We are, there's going to, in the mod, the Gungeon series, there's going to be no boss damage cap. So... I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a fun time. Whoop. All right, all right, all right. Hooked on a feeling. Do, 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 do. Ha! I love this. This is a good weapon. This is a good weapon today. Normally, I'm, like, neutral on it. With alpha bullets, it's obviously it's great. It's fun to have a one sh uh, a one shot bop gun, like a one one piece in the chamber, kind of a bad boy. When you uh, you have alpha bullets, and the fact that it does not have a bad reload time, it's not great, but it's not that bad. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't follow the properties of a typical one shot bop gun. Did we spawn Lord of the Jammed, or was that just the... No! Did we, did we spawn Lord of the Jammed? I heard him. I heard him. I thought I heard him. I must not have. I know we spawned the... Uh... Okay. Okay. I guess it was just the normal enemy one, but I could have sworn that I heard him even after the room was over. Look at all of these chests that are going to waste. They might have, they might have, uh, you know, might have spice. I think we can get spice by breaking them. Pretty sure. Golden junk. Don't mind if I do. I'm happy to get that just to, uh, not have to worry about filling it out for people who care. That's a, it's it's not a hard one to find, but it's also you know it's not the it's not the quickest thing in the world. But now I'm obviously like really hoping we get junkin. We'll trash every chest. Ah, uh, because that would give us mecha junkin. If you've not seen it, search Retromation Mecha Junkin. Or honestly, you could probably even just search Enter the Gungeon Mecha Junkin. I think it's probably the first one on there. I'm a video where I got uh, I got two of them at once. I'm pretty sure. It's been a while though. It's been a while. All right. The good news is there's a problem with um. 
with spice and it's called you get accuracy penalties let me tell you it doesn't matter at all when you got this we don't have to aim for squat I feel like I'm out of place. I'm always on the left side if I can help it. I feel like we didn't need to do that. We would have been just fine if we did it anyway. I think that's, uh, eh, nothing that's necessarily better for the boss. I wish we didn't purchase that ammo. Why do the bullets feel like they're moving so slow? Ah, spice, that's why. Spice actually does, uh, does that. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> spice does slow down bullets. I forgot about that, that aspect to it. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We can go gun munch something. Obviously, we could gun munch some. We could gun munch garbage. Duh. Of course. We could also gun munch, like, Zorgun, which is a higher tier gun that I don't love very much, and we might get something better back. It's another high tier gun that I don't really need. Freeze Ray. It's a great one to munch. Those are two really high tier items. So if we get a bad. That's a good item. It's a, it's a good gun. It's good. I do like to have poison immunity with it. Because it does cause a little bit of a problem. And it's not great with heavy bullets. But shut up, everybody. It's it's worthy trade. I need to... It's a sunk cost theory. Sunk cost fallacy. I put a lot into it, so it's good. No, but it's true. It, it is good. It's genuinely... I love this weapon. Heavy bullets plus shotguns. See, it's just kind of bad. Anything that has lots of... Lots of bullets that you want to hit. Heavy bullets is usually not great. Because it'll, you know, you want to hit with 10 bullets. One of them knocks them away. The other nine bullets might be able to catch up and hit. But who knows? I feel like, I don't know. Maybe if we had rocket-powered bullets to, to combat the knockback, that'd be a different story. I like this though. Oh, it's nice. The only thing that would make it better right now is if we had like ring of triggers. Junk. Gun! No. Why did we have to waste our junk and RNG on that run where we already won? Like we got junk in on the very end of the forge with no junk. Disappointed! It's okay. It's still 500 gold and it still marks it off in our. Ammo Nomicon for those who care about that. Honestly, we'll, we'll see where we're at, you know. When we unlock everything... Oh, how did I do that for? That was clearly not the right way. When we lock every, unlock everything, we'll see where we're at. I probably won't read, go until we pick up every item. Probably not. Just doesn't seem like it'd be worth it. But like I said, by the time we get there... We might just get it. And I believe new item unlocks are prioritized. It's not, like, it doesn't say oh, say it anywhere, but it's it's so definitely the case. Like, if you unlock a new item, you're, you're likely to find it soon. Whoop. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, what do we, what do we got? What, what kind of percentage do we think we have for, like, I mean, we picked up. We've picked up basically everything. We have never picked up oiled cylinder? That's such a common item. I know we've been offered jetpack and escape rope. We need to make sure to pick the stuff up just for... Yeah, we... Okay, well, we basically... Okay. Well, that's interesting. I know we've been offered aged bell before, too. I feel like we've been offered these... That this is hilarious. This is just because it's probably been offered to me and I didn't care. 
weapons though i feel like yeah there's a there's there's definitely more weapons i've see i've never had rubenine mark ii so of course i haven't had rubenstein's monster gundam fury all right yeah there's tons of stuff we still have to pick up for the guns we'll see it actually it's it doesn't look as egregious as i thought like i thought it was gonna be a, a graveyard but no not at all not at all maybe we will unlock everything or uh, read everything then the only thing we would because uh, by the time we unlock the finished gun maybe the only thing we need to do is get the item we just got and the finished gun who knows we'll see We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Rubenstein's monster, you know, fingers freaking crossed. I've had it twice or, twice or thrice? I think it twice or thrice, I don't remember. It's good. Honestly, like, well, I mean, to be, to be frank, Rubenstein's monster is stronger than High Dragon Fire. Which is not included in 100%. In any capacity... If we find it, we find it. I And to, to clear it up, I have found the high dragon fire chest before, but I've never found the high dragon fire naturally. I unlocked the high dragon fire, and thus it has appeared in my rainbow chests, but I have never naturally been got the high dragon fire. If you don't know what I'm talking about, search... On YouTube, you're getting all kinds of homework. Search on YouTube, High Dragon Fire Glitch Chest, and you'll see what happened. It is the, uh, probably the most slash least lucky thing that's ever happened to me. Statistically insane. Like, chests have a 1 in 1,000 chance of being a, ra of a, being a glitch chest. And apparently, the High Dragon Fire can be one. Apparently, the High Dragon Fire can be a glitch chest, too. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. What a buzzkill that was. I don't know. Like It's, it's one of those things where it's there's such a statistical anomaly that there's... It's, it's safe to say there's possibly a chance that nobody that has happened to nobody else. There's It's entirely statistically possible it's happened to nobody else. And that's crazy. One in a thousand chance of it happening. Most people who play Gungeon have never seen it. In le like People who've played thousand hours, thousand plus hours, have never seen it. You know, you might have gotten lucky and, and found it early or whatever, but it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Bloop, bloop. All right. Send him. End him. Send him, end him. All right. God, I love that we get my rat boots. My favorite thing about the rat. Getting the rat boots. Also the fight. Also the rat. The whole... I almost... I threaded the needle there for a minute. But the whole uh, addition of the rat, I just think is fantastic. The rat fight and everything. So, so great. Such a nice addition. The issue... The only issue I have with it is the fact that you do get the same items every time. You, if you want from Punch-Out. The four items. I wish that there was... I, I, I have not sat down and thought about my ideal aspect of it. I guess I kind of wish they... I don't know. I, I, I wish that they didn't exist. I don't know. It, uh, not that they didn't exist as items, because the thing is, if they, if they showed up in normal chests, I'd be so happy about it. I feel like maybe the first time you beat, beat him, you can get all this stuff and become the rat, but then as soon as you do it the first time and you get the transformation after the rat fight... They're all just unlocked and put into the uh, into the pool normally. That's my wish, because otherwise this it's too easy. It's way too easy. If you want to, if you want, here's my tip: you want to beat the gungeon, 
Just get really good at fighting the rat and then abuse all of his items because they're OP. That's my that's my tip on beating the Gungeon. If that's li literally seeing the end credits is the only thing you care about, just get really good at fighting the rat. Just get amazing at fighting the rat. Practice that forever, and then you win. But that's why I make the self-imposed challenge where I only take the boots, because arguably they change the game the least. Also, movement speed is fun to have. They're, they're just, they're, they're fun to utilize, and they do not monopolize your run, where, like, the, uh, the Pac-Man item, if you're using it optimally, it'll monopolize your run. Resourceful Rat Sack, you know, like, I would say, like, I wouldn't put it past myself to allow, allow that instead of the boots, because it's, but it, even that, it can monopolize a run, too. If you have a bad run, it could take it over and be literally the only thing you use. And the gun is obviously insane. It's, it's super good. Locks an enemy down. Um, locks the enemy down. And it has infinite ammo. It's just nuts. Okay. And you're done. It's done. That was super clean, super easy, super nice and breezy. All right, well, we actually have no reason to go back to the breach anymore until we know that we completed the Frightful Challenge, so it just doesn't even matter uh, until we get 200 credits or we complete the Frightful Challenge. So for now, we will resume ending our episodes like we used to on this screen here, and with that, I will say extreme thank you to Patreon supporters at the Go Team Gungeon tier, both Aounsu and Throbo absolute champions and heroes for helping at that tier making me able to be full time the patreon support is fantastic there we go casual lead god casual golden junk all good that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching check out the brand new monolith series if you like gungeon you're gonna love monolith i seriously seriously recommend watching it i think it will be a new game you'll love check it out Thank you, thank you. See ya tomorrow.